Hey, what's going on guys? Moose Wayne one here. Welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts video. So the Melody of Memory demo released and so far I'm having a great time with it. It's a pretty short and sweet demo that allows you to sort of get your feet wet and see if you'll actually enjoy the gameplay. And personally, I was one of the people who was going to buy it because I also enjoy rhythm games, but I was still kind of hesitant. But I can confidently now say that this game is a solid entry in the Kingdom Hearts series. And if you want to see more Kingdom Hearts discussion videos and news, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and join the Guardians of Twilight Discord. Link will be down below in the description. So I've been messing with the demo for a bit, and here are sort of my first impressions of the game so far. So real talk though, first off, we gotta talk about that menu. Like seeing Kyrie pull up with the throne fit, all the pictures of Sora and the gang, and then hearing the new Dearly Beloved was just, oh, it was so good. I've already heard the Dearly Beloved for this game, but frankly, it's become one of my favorites because it's nice to see the game sort of diving away from its classical roots and going into different styles. Like that sort of big band sound, you know, jazz they got going on is really nice, so I'm here for it. Then they take you through the actual tutorial, which is pretty straightforward. It's one of those stop and goes, you know, you come close to an enemy, then it stops and tells you what you need to do. And then it takes you into the actual tutorial where you get a song, which is of course Destati. And it's, it's again, it's pretty straightforward. The controls pretty much play the same as the regular Kingdom Hearts games. If you want to attack, you press X, L1, or R1, and more on that in a bit, but mostly X. Jump with circle and triangle is of course your special move. There are only two special moves available right now, being Thunder and R's Arcanum for the triangle moves, but I'm sure there'll, po there'll probably be more in the actual game. The only thing that's really different from the normal controls is that you could press L1 or R1 when you have multiple enemies, and when you have groups of three, you have to hold down L1, R1, and X to attack all three at the same time. What I think I'm going to do, what I've been doing and having a good time with is pressing X for just the normal attacks and using only L1 and R1 for group enemies to sort of keep down the confusion for harder difficulties. And then you get into the meat and potatoes of the demo from the main menu. So of course you see here the world tour versus battles and museum tabs aren't accessible currently because, you know, makes sense, it's a demo, I'm not going to give out the whole shebang right now. Just a little taste test, and frankly it's a very spicy taste test because this gameplay is actual fuego. So first off, the Traverse Town theme here, watching Sora, Donald and Goofy just chilling here. Sora in the Kingdom Hearts 1 fit, oh, so nice. Reminds me of the good old days and Kingdom Hearts 1 when things were simpler and cleaner. But in any case, the tabs that are open are the track selection, co-op, and of course, the settings. And I tried to go into co-op to see what kind of songs it has, but of course, you, uh, you need friends for co-op. But the tracks we get for the track selection are Welcome to Wonderland, Hand in Hand, The Rustling Forest from Birth by Sleep, and Wave of Darkness 1 from Birth by Sleep, A Fragmentary Passage. And the co-op songs I figured out later are Sinister Shadows and All for One with of course Sora and Riku. So for the modes you can play in here and track selection, you get a couple of different options. If you press triangle, you get to see the different options here. You get to see the basic mode, which is just sort of the standard gameplay, one button mode, which is mode where you can do all the motions in one button, and it does all the things for you, of course, and performer mode, which is sort of the game's critical mode. The main difference between the two is that there are more inputs like square, L2, and R2 to worry about, as well as a more complex rhythm. And one thing I like about one button mode is that it's actually kind of a nice training mode because what I like is that for most rhythm games, there isn't really a training mode. You have to go through the whole song and sort of get to that part that you mess up on and hopefully try not to mess up on it, do a little better next time. But what I would like to see is some sort of training mode for rhythm games just to sort of get rhythms down in certain songs. And that's kind of what one button mode is to me. I mean, of course you can get through the whole song with one button, but I mostly use it to sort of get through a song on harder difficulty while learning the rhythms at the same time to sort of get it in my head. So I actually kind of like using one button mode that way as well. And here you can have all the tracks listed. Of course, you can see all four here. And you can see also a number next to the name of the track, which is representative of the difficulty of the song, kind of like the star system they have in Persona 5 Dancing. I'm not sure what the highest number is on the scale, but for the demo, it caps off at about 15, with Wave of Darkness on Proud Mode being the hardest track in the demo. 
While I'm not a huge fan of the tracks they included, I am a fan of the difficulty difference between them, kind of showcasing the whole spectrum. I played on Proud Mode for the initial playthrough, and it was a pretty healthy challenge. It took me quite a bit to get through the Wave of Darkness, but the beginner and standard were pretty simple and had some difficulty, but not too much. It was, it was pretty fair. One thing I do like is that if you go to the settings, you can actually mess with the BGM timing, which is cool, because you can adjust the gameplay to your liking, and if you feel the game is lagging a bit, you can always adjust it, and I think that's really a nice addition. Because my main complaint and the reason I stayed away from rhythm games for a bit was because a lot of the games I played had weird input timing and it never exactly lined up and it really just bothered the ever living hell out of me so I just stayed away from it altogether. So honestly I think the fact that you can sort of have this in here to sort of change the gameplay to your liking is an actual godsend. If the demo is representative of the finished product I personally think the game will be solid and it's definitely worth the buy if rhythm games are your thing and it will frankly just make a good addition to the Kingdom Hearts series. Now on to the news side of things, we actually got quite a bit of news and updates as the demo sort of rolled out worldwide. We got a couple of screenshots from other features in the game such as the memorial theater and the music player which showcases some songs that I assume are also going to be in the game as well. Here you see some classics like Lazy Afternoons and The Afternoon Streets which are two of my personal favorite songs from the Kingdom Hearts series. You have Sinister Sundown, Magical Mystery, Reviving Hollow Bastion, and Scherzo de Notte. And then we got a ton of songs that are also confirmed to be in the game as well, and I'll leave a link down below because it's an actual metric ton of songs that they revealed. But some of the highlights in my opinion are One Winged Angel and This Is Halloween from Kingdom Hearts 1, Lord of the Castle from Chain of Memories, Tension Rising, Sanctuary, and Rage Awaken from Kingdom Hearts 2 and 2 Final Mix, The Fun Fair from Dream Drop Distance, and from Kingdom Hearts 3 we have Don't Think Twice and You've Got a Friend in Me from of course the Toy Box. And then lastly, you see the memorial theater that lets you see songs from certain memories relating to certain characters, which I'm sure is like the cutscene songs we saw in the trailer. Like I'm pretty sure Music for the Sadness of Shion is a song that's specific to her that shows her cutscenes and days and maybe even from Kingdom Hearts 3. And one thing I'm excited about from the new side of things is that while we already knew we were going to get a substantial amount of content, it's nice that they released it next to the demo because I've been having a great time sort of going through it and if they can provide this much fun and entertainment with only 4-6 to six songs, I can only imagine how fun you can have with over 140. And with the all kind of different modes you have and all the different ways to experience the series and of course the over 800 collectible cards that'll be available in the full game, I don't think you'll have to worry about getting your money's worth with Melody of Memory. I kind of like that they're including a lot more Disney songs and I wonder if every Disney songs will get sort of their own Disney companion. Now that I think about it, probably not because I'd imagine some of those assets would conflict with the older character models. Like in the trailer that had Let It Go, we still saw Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora that's you know sort of spread throughout the game instead of Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora which is the actual game it took place in. So part of that makes me think we'll only get the characters we've seen in the series only up to Dream Drop Distance and not some of the new ones introduced in Kingdom Hearts 3 like you know Sully, Mike, or Woody and Buzz. But either way, my personal experience, I'm having a great time with it. The gameplay is fun, the controls are good, and the music is bumping. So I think it'll be a solid experience for everyone to enjoy, and the amount of content we're getting is definitely worth the money in my opinion. So those are sort of my thoughts on the demo and the news that released in regards to the actual game. Let me know what you guys think and if you're going to pick up the game down below in the comments or in the Discord server. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like down below, really helps me out. And if you want to see more Kingdom Hearts content and a full playthrough of Melody of Memory when it releases, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on so you never miss another video. My name is MooseWayne1 and remember to stay strong, remain humble, and keep moving forward. Peace out.